This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at nucleophilic substitution reactions. A nucleophilic substitution reaction involves the replacement of an atom, which is known as the leaving group, by a nucleophile. As we saw in a previous video, nucleophiles are electron-rich species, therefore they are attracted to regions of positive charge. Here we can see a simplified mechanism for a nucleophilic substitution reaction. In the reaction, we can see that the nucleophile, which is abbreviated as NU, is attracted to the carbon atom, which has a partial positive charge. This partial positive charge is caused by the difference in electronegativity between the carbon atom and the leaving group. The nucleophile uses a lone pair of electrons to form a bond with the carbon atom. At the same time, the bond between the carbon and the leaving group undergoes heterolytic bond fission. In the product on the right, we can see the bond between the carbon atom and the nucleophile. The leaving group, which took both electrons from the bond, now has a negative charge. Common leaving groups include halide ions, such as the chloride ion and the bromide ion. So to summarize, in the reaction, the nucleophile replaces the leaving group in the molecule. Nucleophilic substitution reactions can occur via the SN1 or SN2 mechanisms. SN1 stands for Nucleophilic Substitution Unimolecular. SN2 stands for Nucleophilic Substitution Bimolecular. Here we can see three examples of halogenoalkanes. From left to right, we have a primary halogenoalkane, a secondary halogenoalkane, and a tertiary halogenoalkane. Primary halogenoalkanes react via the SN2 mechanism. Secondary halogenoalkanes react by either the SN1 or SN2 mechanism. And tertiary halogenoalkanes react via the SN1 mechanism. The reasons for this will be discussed in a later video. We'll end the video by having a quick look at the SN1 and SN2 mechanisms. In both these reactions, the nucleophile is a hydroxide ion. The reactants are halogenoalkanes and the products are alcohols. The SN1 mechanism is a two-step mechanism, whereas the SN2 mechanism is a one-step mechanism. The SN1 mechanism involves the formation of a carbocation intermediate, and the SN2 mechanism involves the formation of an unstable transition state. So that's all from this video. In the next video, we'll be looking at each of these mechanisms in more detail.